Hey guys, welcome to Troy Time. Hey, check it out. Today we're going to talk about growing hydroponic radishes, okay? We're going to do them indoors. We're going to do them super inexpensive. We're going to talk about how we do it, what materials we use, and how you can do it. Super inexpensive, okay? Should be doing this. We'll talk about why and how to do it coming up next. Okay, guys, radishes, right? I love radishes. I really do. Why should you do radishes, okay? One, because they're awesome, right? They're so spicy and they're so bright colored. They liven up a salad. They're just a great thing. If you like radishes, grow radishes, right? Number two, they grow super fast, okay? You can harvest radishes in three to four weeks, usually about three weeks, super quick, right? So you can just harvest and harvest and harvest all the time. And thirdly, you can actually eat the radish and you can eat the greens, okay? So you're getting double duty. You're getting double the production out of it. You get a root product, a tuber, and you get a, uh, the greens, which are awesome. So the greens are really good. Um, the secret on the greens is that they are a little prickly. So before you eat the greens, it's best to uh, either um, hit them with the, some steam or uh, just uh, toss them in a little bo uh, boiling water and just kind of steep them down a little bit or saute them, okay? So any of those, and it'll take the prickles out of it. They'll be prickless, I guess, <laughs> is how you say it. They will no longer have prickles, uh, whatever that term is. Um, yeah, so radishes are awesome. We're going to show you how to grow them indoors. Super easy. Coming up next. Okay, guys, first let's talk about containers, okay? We're going to have a container to hold the plant, and we're going to have a container to hold the hydroponic um, uh, nutrients, okay? So the container that holds the plant is just simply a plastic cup, one of these sort of smaller size, clear, opaque uh, plastic, uh, um, plastic cups. You can get them at Walmart, you can get them at the dollar store, okay? And all I did is poke about four or five holes in the bottom just with a drill. I just went through and drilled them. You could use a soldering iron as well, you know, whatever you want to do. Just poke some holes in the bottom, okay? About five, okay? Five or six holes. Now, what that's going to sit in is this. This is a dollar store cooler, okay? These are awesome. I use these for tons of stuff. I do tons of hydroponics in these things. They work out great, okay? They cost $1.25. Pick up a few more than what you need because occasionally you'll have some that leak. That is one problem with them. They don't have the best quality. But test them first, and once you have one that doesn't leak, it's going to work great for you, okay? Dollar store cooler, $1.25. Then all I did was trace the rim of this guy at about the halfway level, about halfway down, and I just cut out six holes. We're going to have six of these in each cooler. Okay, I'm going to do two coolers, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to just set this in here and I'm going to nest these into those holes just like that, okay? So you want it to go just about down to where it's almost like perfectly flat with the, the inverted cooler lid. Notice how I have the cooler lid inverted, okay? And so it looks like that, right? And we're just going to fill the six of these up in one cooler. Okay, so once we do it, it'll look like this, okay? These are, I just got done uh, cleaning these out just a little bit. I just basically rinsed them off. I used them in the last batch, okay? So we're gonna reuse them again, okay? Just like that. Six plastic cups nested into an inverted cooler lid on a cooler from the dollar store. Okay, next up, let's talk about medium, okay? What I like to use, and I've been using this for the radishes and for a few other things, I really like it a lot, is a 50-50 mix of perlite and vermiculite, okay? So I uh, put it all in a five-gallon bucket. There were some holes in the bottom of a five-gallon bucket. I filled it up with water and I let it drain. That removed all the sort of granule grain sand type of um, uh, particulate out of it. So I just was left with the, a little bit coarser material, okay? So this is just 50-50. Vermiculite perlite, and we're just going to fill the cups about halfway. Okay, guys, I'll bring you in close so you can see this one. So the cups are filled up to right around where the ridges are on the edge of the cup, just over the level mark of the inverted cooler. That way they will block out the light and help support the plant. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, next up, let's talk seeds, okay? Today I'm using these seeds. These are from Seed Kingdom. I bought them in bulk, I bought one pound bag, okay? I eat a lot of uh, uh, radishes. I like them a lot, and I'm gonna be growing them for a long time. So I got a giant old bag of them. But if you didn't wanna get a bag like that and spend that much money initially investing, um, you can also grow the, uh, the packets of uh, radishes from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree sells them for, I think, 25 cents, right? And those are uh, Early Scarlet Globe, I believe, are the ones. They also sell a uh, French breakfast one as well, but I like the Early Scarlet Globe, okay? These are Cherry Bell, in case I didn't mention it. Yep, Cherry Bell, and these, these grow super fast. 
Okay, guys, so I'm not gonna soak, I'm not gonna pre-soak my seeds for this. I will pre-soak radish seeds when I do sprouting, but once I put them in here, we're gonna put uh, uh, water on them anyway, so there's no real reason to pre-soak them in my mind. So I'm just gonna use a little pen, a little uh, marker. I'm just gonna go in the center. I'm gonna dig a little hole, right, about an inch, maybe an inch and a half down, and I'm gonna put two seeds in each hole, okay? One, two, right? One, two, eventually we're only gonna let one grow, but we wanna make sure that we don't lose a, uh, a grow area. So we definitely wanna make sure that one definitely sprouts. And these sprout, I get a real high sprouting rate ratio on these. Germination rate, I should say. One, two. Okay, and then we're just gonna tuck these closed. And we're gonna spray them with water. Okay, then we're gonna fill the cooler up until it just touches the bottom of the um, truck. So I wanna see drips when I lift this, which we do. Now, on my original last batch, um, I did put a 50-50 mix of nutrients and water at this stage, and it did wick up, and it did actually turn green. So algae did grow on the surface uh, where the light was shining down here on the, on the medium. So this time I'm just using water, okay? And after the plant gets uh, where it's uh, sprouted and the roots hanging down below the cup, then I will put the nutrients in where it's just touching the roots, okay? But we'll bring you back for that for an update. Uh, when that happens, it'll probably be, you know, maybe two weeks from now, 10 days, something like that, where the roots will be down and then we can actually start uh, giving nutrients to the plant, okay? So that's how we're doing radishes. We hope you follow along and we'll show you what we get at the end uh, in just a few weeks. We'll probably give you an update at 10 days and then another update maybe at 22, 23 days, okay? So look forward to it. Thanks for coming along. I hope you do this too. Works out really well. I'll see you soon. This is Troy time. I'm out.